Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. So we all know by now that we are one of the biggest scuba diving news channels in the whole wide world in our field. And yeah, we are, we are highly regarded. We are highly regarded in our field. You know, we, we move over BBC News. Yep, we're, we're highly accredited. Highly accredited. <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about turtles breathing out of their butts. So Maria, I'm going to butcher this. Wojakowski. <laughs> That's probably about it. Well, Wojakowski. Wojakowski or Mike Wazowski, as I would like to say, but it's not. Anyway, do apologise for butchering your name there. Anyway, she's been studying turtle ecology for more than a decade, and her findings are going viral on the interweb. Yes. Uh, okay, so let's talk about turtle butts, I'm sorry. But basically, most land animals breathe by expanding and contracting their rib cage by using their intercostal muscles and their mm -hmm. diaphragm and all that yeah, kind of stuff. stuff. It, no, it changes no, no, the no, pressure no. gradient. Um, yeah. And basically, that creates a natural pump that draws air in and out of their lungs. But because a turtle's rigid shell, which is effectively part of their rib cage, they they can't do this because turtles can't <laughs> breathe. I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so instead, they rely on sheets of muscles within their shell to pump oxygen through their mouths most of the time. <laughs> but sometimes they have to, you know, breathe out of other ends, <laughs> which scientists call clock clock or the cloaca. Yeah, let's not say that clock. Cloaca. 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 Anyway, so turtles use this opening, uh, you know, they obviously use it to, to wee, to poop, to lay eggs, and sometimes it has to double up as a set of gills, sucking in water and absorbing the oxygen within. Uh, they mainly do this when obviously they're spending long periods of time underwater, like when they hibernate. Yeah, so apparently if you look closely at the inside of a shell, hopefully, oh. hopefully when the turtle is dead. I thought you were um, gonna say something else then, not the Yeah, not the cloaca. Um, <laughs> lift up its skirt. <laughs> <clears throat> and I, I'm not sure if this is all turtles or just some turtles. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't actually read the article. Um, oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. So apparently if you look at the inside of a shell, you'll see another feature which also helps with hibernating underwater, a scaffold-like structure that can actually store and release chemicals, um, which helps turtles breathe without any oxygen at all. They kind of suck it all in and then they keep it inside them for when they need it under the water and they can't get to the surface. Clever, clever little beasties. Um, so basically, why are we talking about this on Daily Scuba News? Um, well, this sort of research always gets into the hands of developers, and one day, thanks to turtles and their bums, we might be able to stay longer underwater. Yeah, they could use this technology or, or technique in reef rivers, and maybe find a way that humans can also create a series of chemicals that means we don't necessarily need to breathe air anymore. How awesome would that be? Don't breathe air. And then if you get that chemical to taste like Dr. Pepper, <laughs> yeah. yeah! You're onto a winner. You're onto a winner. <laughs> so mark my words, we'll all be breathing through our butts while scuba diving in 20 years. There, but diving. There, there will be other flavours available. Um, so basically this, this is actually news. Um, <laughs> Hopefully what they, what they have learned from the, uh, the turtles can actually be incorporated into scuba in some way. I That's imagine it's going to be yeah. small. No, um, it's going to be big, it's going to change the way. It's not going to change diving. the way it happens. You can have a, the regulator's going to go up your bottom. No, no, oh no. <laughs> oh. That's, that's gonna change a squeeze. Um, so, um, so just, yeah, as always, we'll have to wait and see what actually happens. Uh, you never know, you might have heard here first some groundbreaking. You did. Physics, biology. DSM, I told you, we're better than... Scuba Pro bring out the cloaca regulator. I don't know, we'll see. It might be another brand. Uh, what do you think about all of this? Uh, what developments could this lead to in the world of scuba diving? Um, I don't think a great deal. Because the whole point of fish is not being able to breathe on land is because they need such like gill structure to draw any oxygen out of the water and as soon as their gills collapse it's gone so there's so little amount of oxygen 
Yeah. And if we could draw it and out. And here we are, we're going to draw it out. We're going to kill all the fish. And all the, we're all going to die just because of us. That's like every year or we're so. Just suck out the oxygen. You the get water. that like James Bond thing oh, on yeah, King's Kickstarter. It's like, oh no, we found this new chemical that draws oxygen out of the water so you can inhale. No. No. <laughs> it just. No, it's never gonna happen. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like it, uh, share it with your diving buddies, and whilst you're at it, you might as well smash on that little bell icon as well to stay up to date with all things scuba diving. Thank you for watching, and as always, safe diving. Bye. It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.